Hey everybody, Scout Crafty here, real quick video. Got a nice beryllium hammer in the mail today. Beryllium is a non-sparking material. And uh, the problem is it's nice and cold outside, so watch what happens. See that handle? See the movement? Yet the top is, uh, and they use a beryllium wedge in there. But you see, there's really not much play in the top. It's just mainly the bottom here. That's because some of the end grain extends past no problem. Now, we could try and reset this hammer, we re wedge it. No sense. Let me show you how we okay, do it. Okay, we're over at the slop sink here, and uh, we're going to take the hammer. We have some hot, hot tap water. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to submerge the hammer. We want it to get it to above that point here. We want it to get to about this point here. So you can see that's just a little bit... Uh, let me see if I, yeah, that's just about right. Maybe another inch or two of water here. All right, that should be good. Now, we're going to let that soak for about a half an hour, and we'll come back. Okay, it's been 30 minutes that we've had this submerged in water, and it absolutely sealed up. Now, just so you know that uh, as soon as I put it into the water, uh, within 30 seconds, it was solid. It was tight to head again. So it doesn't need a lot of time, but I left it in there longer because what I think somebody sanded this handle down. It's very smooth and there's no finish on there. That's a no-no. You cannot have a raw wood handle because it will expand and contract and lead you to this problem. So now we're going to give this about another an hour or so and this water will absorb and, and, and dry off. You can see already this side is almost dry. And we're going to seal this uh, handle up. Now, even though this here, this is side grain, but this is end grain here. As you see, the wood gets cut in. That's all end grain. That's really got to be sealed. That's very important because that's the part that's going to expand the contract. So we're going to figure out what kind of finish we want to put on this handle and what we're going to do with the hammer. Now, using boiled linseed oil, and we put a little bit in a cup here using an acid brush. Remember, we want to get just the end grain. We're going to dip it in here and be very generous with this because you're going to see how this soaks in there now i'm going to put just a little bit over here only on the end grain because we might want to do something different on the other grain and we're going to spin it around and put it on all the exposed end grain let it soak in let it soak into the hammer you know underneath and just like that and we also get of course we're going to get the top over here but when we do the top, we're going to stand the hammer up so that uh, it absorbs that way. But now, if you look at this in about, uh, oh, about 10 minutes, you're going to see the absorption of the uh, linseed oil into that end grain. It's going to suck it in really quick. And you're going to keep doing this until the suction stops. And uh, from there, then we'll, like I said, we'll decide what kind of finish we're going to put on it. It's been a couple hours since we applied the linseed oil to the end grain of the of the hammer handle, and you could see it is absolutely dry and sucked in, well into the wood grain. Now, uh, we will keep applying the linseed oil until we get a sheen, a shine on here that lets us know that it's uh, pretty well close to the surface, but right now it's bone dry. That means that it's still very dry and we still have to keep applying the linseed oil. Um, if you notice, uh, you don't usually get this much end grain with a typical hammer that shows, you know, the hammer, if, if most hammer manufacturers would bring this uh, casting a little bit lower down on the handle so that it uh, you have less of this exposed. But uh, the maker of this hammer is a um, Barocco. And uh, again, they're known for the beryllium copper hammer heads. Uh, they're known for their spark, their non-sparking properties. And that's why um, this hammer is is, uh, is a collectible, more or less. It's a copper beryllium mix. And uh, it has a Rockwell of about 33 to 45, which makes it uh, more suitable than a uh, bronze or a uh, aluminum. It's uh, the hardened, the materials are good, and uh, that's why they've been used for a while. But they are a little bit pricey. So we're going to apply some more linseed oil. Uh, look forward to a, a full demonstration when we get done with this. Uh, hammer. We're going to uh, do a little bit of restoration. I was going to make this a nice shiny beryllium, but then I was reading up on it and apparently this has some uh, toxic properties when inhaled. So I got to take uh, some serious precautions if I'm going to do any kind of 
grinding or sanding or anything on this head. Uh, but anyway, this is just to get the handle secure to the hammer. A little bit of an introduction. Look forward to one of my future videos when I have this done and, uh, and pimped out, more or less. Okay? Take care. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.